Well, Jared, coming here to Michigan State, I'm sure that's been an interesting transition for you, but you've obviously been a little bit more comfortable with knowing about the staff that's here. What was that like, the relationship you've had with Mel and with Jay Johnson and how they were able to get you over here? So during Coach Tuck's time at, at Colorado, I kind of got the opportunity to like, you know, find out like they were doing things and, you know, see how Mel, Mel Tucker coaches his football team. And when it came down to hit the portal, I mean, why not? Would you want to be a part of something like that? Because we all loved him at Colorado. It was just unfortunate that he ended up leaving. In Colorado's 2019 fall camp, Jerick suffered a season-ending knee injury. What did that teach you, not just about going through and persevering through injuries, but what did that teach you about yourself and the way in which you were able to go through that? So that's kind of funny you use the word persevere because I have my own like little brand that I was fortunate enough to create through like the NIL and stuff. And on the side of all my hats, it has persevere on it. So, I mean, just like having that and, you know, as I like grown older, you know, I became more mature. It's like Coach Tuck, he teaches this thing called, you know, giving your feelings directions. Like you can use those, those negative things that happen to you and you can make an excuse or you can use that as like, you know, your drive and your passion. So that's just kind of how I go about it. As Jarek gets ready to make his Spartan debut, comparisons to former Spartan Kenneth Walker III are easy to make. You right now are in a similar spot that Ken Walker was, being a transfer, coming into this program. Now, as you are a Doak Walker Award watch list for the second year in a row, Ken just won the Doak Walker Award. Obviously, there's a lot of eyes on you. It's not expected of you right. to have that, but what type of pressure have you put on yourself in order to just live up to your own standards? Uh, so, like, one thing about me that me and Coach Reed often talk about is, like, how hard I am on myself. And, you know, just, you know, taking it day by day and having that day by day approach. Ken Walker is a really good player, but I mean, you know, he's gone now. And, you know, I just look at it as a me versus me approach. Like I take it day by day. How can I get better today? What am I going to work on today? As the season progresses and as the season come around, I just I just look forward to contributing and helping the team win. That's all I really care about. We've heard from a couple of different coaches, a couple of different players, that you're kind of like a mouse. Have you ever seen a mouse and, and they go under a door or under a, and like, how the heck did they get through that? Sometimes I see that from Bizarre, like, how did he find that and get there? So what was it like for you to hear something like that? Uh, I mean, it's always funny, but you know, it's cool, you know, like, you know, going through what I've gone through and, you know, to, to get the opportunity to showcase my talent and to have people, you know, reflect on it and, you know, tell you positive things about yourself. It's always, you know, it's always beneficial. While his style of running shows a hunger to gain yards, his appetite is loyal to his Texas roots. You've also mentioned that your favorite fast food spot, or your burger spot, what is Waterburger. Oh, of course. As, as a Texas guy, you, you got to choose that over in and out or I mean, I don't know in if you out, in and out there ain't nothing but a Krabby Patty. Like, <laughs> it's, it's just a cute little burger. Like We're not going to send that to anybody in the Pac-12, but all the rest of the people out there, you probably are going to get some flack for that about. They know it's the truth. They know, <laughs> they know it's the truth. You're willing to debate the, the, sure. the echelons of Waterburger oh, I mean, over everybody else. Okay. Have you have you been able? Oh, go ahead. I mean, think of. I mean, you go to Whittle Burger. You don't even got to get a burger. You can get chicken. You go to In and Out Burger. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> so I mean, the versatility in it, you know. Right. Texas will always have his heart, but where Jarek was born is somewhere completely different. So a lot of people think I'm from Dallas, but I'm really from New Orleans and. I moved from New Orleans when I was about five years old, and that's when Hurricane Katrina hit. I grew up in Dallas, I went to school in Dallas, so I tell people that I'm from Dallas, but I mean, like one thing that a lot of people might not know, my biggest motivation is my mother, like seeing her go to work every day, make ends meet, you know, like we'd ask for things and all she would tell us is just bring me good grades and it's good. So, you know, just her drive and her work ethic is what motivates me the most. And I mean, I, I probably would never be able to, you know, like, Re, like repay her in a way, but as long as like she knows like her baby boy got his degree, uh, he keeps a smile on his face and she gets the opportunity to watch me ball on Saturdays, like that's perfectly fine with her and I love it. That's a special bond between you guys. Yeah. She can be able to come up a lot and see a bunch yeah, of games up here. Yeah, sure. That'll be good.